What's going on YouTube? Clark Bishop here. I haven't made a YouTube video in a long time and I'm back hopefully more consistently. My goal is to be making two YouTube videos a week, maybe just one, but we're gonna see when we get there. Today's video is about this eight by eight grid I just brought from a Chinese company called Kino Sun. They claim to be a full grid cloth. We're gonna put it to the test today. We're not doing no extreme super science tests. I'm just pulling out my light meter and move it to the side and see if it works. The ultimate goal is to see if this company is reliable because this is like a quarter of the price you can find from the Matthews and other brands you find online from B&H or Anorama. So if I can only spend $83 with free shipping, I'm gonna Keep going back to the company i actually got uh it's called a matthew bounce whatever it's called but it's an ultra bounce and an egg eight by eight coming in next week that shouldn't up because like all it is is bouncing an egg but this full grid is is here so we're trying to see what it does i got my godox 200 going through the light and i think it's doing a pretty good job the camera is set at 2.8 i got five stops of indy on okay i'm back on with my light meter this was kind of expensive when i first got it i didn't know i was spending 600 dollars on a light meter i had looked back and i looked at my business partner like bro we usually we really just spent 600 on a light meter that i barely use but it comes in handy when i really needed to get the exposure down proper so yeah man don't 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 waste your money on a light meter especially with all these good monitors nowadays but it is a handy tool i say if you do got some extra money go ahead you go ahead and get one especially like for tests like these if you want to be really accurate on set and you want your to be polished go ahead and get you a light meter it is reading that ooh, i don't think i did that right right now it's reading out at an f11 that gave me an f16 at first but that sounds about right the f11 is about five stops higher than the 2.8, I believe. I can do the math in my head. 0. 0.6 and a 0. 0.9 in front of the lens right now. So that calculates, it works out. Now I'm about to turn this sideways and just had a harsh light hitting me. For you guys wondering, I don't have an eight by eight stand or anything like that. Basically just took the poles from my backdrop stands and I just clamped it up along the sides and it's making it do what it do. So it looks good to me. It looks professional to me. I got the clamps up there. If I want to like be fancy, I'll tie some rope at the bottom. But it's not moving me on the indoors. If I was outside, I'd probably need that frame or something. Or I wanted to get like an overhead angle. But my primary use of this ABI is just to get a nice huge source on my subject. So I'm back. The like sun is beaming on me. Well, that's just my go I'm gonna stand kind of standing in the same spot I was just standing at. I got my light meter. I can't even read it because it's so bright right here. So let's see what the reads is gonna be. Got a 32, and that's only about three stops three or two stops when i had to like a foot closer it was reading like a 45 but i got a 32 and and if you don't know light doubles every time you go up so from my f11 i go up 22 then after that is 16 to go up to 32 so that's three stops of light a full grid is supposed to be around that 1.6 1.5 so like five stops of light also so I would, to, be, to do the ultimate comparison, I would have to have the Matthews bounce right here in front of me. So it's no guarantee like these full grits are actually what they say to producer now. And then it also depends on your light and how your light is going out. But to get three stops of light off of me, I think it's pretty good for the $83. I don't mind that. I think I got this because I don't want to be a gaffer. I really just want to show up to set as a DP or as a director, mainly a director. I got this for like my talking head stuff so I do on the side. Something I can have on my kit that looks nice and I feel like it gives a better feel than my 55 inch, my six foot dome over there. I don't know if I did the math on that, so don't judge me. So in conclusion, let me put this light back. I'm back. So in conclusion, I think this eight by is worth it, bro. If it can stop down three stops of light and still give you that professional look and feel that when you bring the set and it still has everything, all the, the tubes that tie it up to your eight by, I hope it measured out everybody, I didn't measure it, but I think it's a perfect fit. If you could save about 300 bucks on this a buy from this company and just have to wait a couple more weeks to get it in the mail, you should go for it. Especially if you're on a budget, like most of us are growing up in this film game because it's expensive, bro. <laughs> it's expensive, man. I think this is a great solution. It's better than a shower curtain if you want to be on the more professional side. And I got that ultra bounce coming soon so i can't wait to see how that works it's how these both on set this is gonna make the vanity mattress look that much better bro this is probably the best thing i brought at the lowest cost and i think this the material and the feel of it it feels like it's gonna last a long time i usually don't like buying cheap but i feel like this one it worked out and it was a risk i was willing to take so i took that risk for you so thank you guys for watching my youtube channel i'm gonna be uploading more and more and uh 
Don't quote me on that. But I, I, I'm going to upload more. But thank you, guys. Peace.